right, language B. Okay, so today we are going, so we've learned our, our first compliment. Remember I told you there's three different compliments that we will be learning. Our first one was the direct object. We've learned that. We learned that a direct object comes after an action verb. We learned it can never, ever, ever, ever be in a prepositional phrase. We learned that we find the subject, the verb, and then ask who or what, and that tells us what the direct object is. And then we even learned if we say the subject, verb, direct object, to whom or for whom, then it gives us our indirect object. So our next sentence completer that we are learning about today comes after a linking verb. Now we're not going to talk about its name or anything today. We're just going to talk about how to recognize that there could be one of these complements in a sentence, okay? So first of all, it is very important that we know our linking verb list by memory. Say it with me until I stop. Keep saying it. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. 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 Now, if you were not able to say that verb with me, those verbs with me without looking, then I'm going to need you to play this video over and over and over on that spot until you know those verbs. It is most important that you know the linking verb list. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. When you see these words in a sentence, the only thing that they can ever, ever, ever be in any sentence that you will see them in is a verb, okay? A linking verb. Now these words, when we see them in a sentence, they should just start blinking at us. Blink, 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 blink. Blinking at us. Hello, hello, hello. Because these verbs, when we find them in a sentence, could very likely have in the predicate after the verb, have a word that is describing our subject of the sentence. Let me give you an example. If we have the sentence, Jasmine is pretty. First of all, we have a linking verb. That linking verb should automatically be blinking at us. Is, is, is. So we're going to look in the predicate part of the sentence and see if there is a word that describes our subject. Pretty. Does pretty describe jasmine? Pretty jasmine. Yes, it does. So pretty is a word that goes back and describes our subject. Okay? Let's look at another one. Anna is a good, shouldn't have made that so big so I can write under here. Anna is a good singer. Okay, so our verb should just be blinking at us. What is that verb blinking at us? The verb is, is, it's blinking. So we're going to stop and check. Is there a word in the predicate part of the sentence that describes our verb or that describes our subject or even renames our subject? Um, a good singer. Is Anna and singer the same person? Yes, so this is a word that we would be looking for that goes back and describes or renames our subject. Um, another sentence. Um, I'll look at this one. Now, remember when I told you that that sentence, that that linking verb should be, um, well, actually, or that the linking verb should um, be blinking at you to go and check something. Every time we check does not mean that there will be a word in the predicate that is renaming or describing our, sub our subject. Zachary is here. It's blinking at us. We always need to go check. Zachary is here. Does here modify Zachary or describe Zachary? Or does here rename Zachary? No, so in this sentence, our linking verb is not connecting a word in our predicate to our subject, okay? So even though we always want to check and look, always and forever, it doesn't mean that it will be making a connection between a word in the predicate and the subject. Go ahead and look at page 279. <clears throat> 
It says, study the following examples. Do you see that these verbs are sometimes, <clears throat> can sometimes be linking verbs, <clears throat> excuse me, and sometimes be action verbs? So let's look here. It says, the lemon tastes tart. So if we look at the word, the verb is taste. Who or what tastes lemon? But what is the word after taste describing? It's describing or the word aftertaste is tart, and tart is describing lemon, which is the subject of our sentence. So whereas we would look in the sentence and I would say, can you stand up and taste? You might would say, absolutely, Miss Dermot, Miss McDermott, I can stand up and taste, so it's an action verb. But in the sentence, the word is going back and renaming, or going back and describing our subject tart, the tart lemon, the lemon taste, Tart. So in the sentence, the word taste is being used as a linking verb. And there is a list of verbs that are called sometimes linking verbs. So when we come across these sometime linking verbs, then we have to go ahead and look to see, is this being used as an action verb or is it being used as a linking verb? If it's being used as an as a linking verb, a word after that linking verb, somewhere in the predicate, is going to go back and describe or rename the subject of the sentence. Now let's look on page 279 at our sometimes linking verb list. This must be memorized as well. Taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem, grow, remain, stay. Taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem, grow, remain, stay. Taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem, grow, remain, stay. Taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem, grow, remain, stay. Taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem, grow, remain, stay. So you need to memorize that list as well. All right, so under the lemon sentence, go ahead and look at the next sentence. I tasted the tart lemon. So tasted is our verb. Who tasted I? I tasted whom or what? Lemon. So in this sentence, tasted is an action verb because the direct object lemon comes after it. Um, <clears throat> look at number one. Your head feels warm. Feels is our verb. Who or what feels head. Now warm is going back and describing what? Head, warm head. So warm in this sentence is, or so head, so feels in this sentence is a linking verb, okay? The air smells fresh. So here we have the word smells. That is on our sometimes linking verb list. Who or what smells air, and the air smells fresh. So fresh is describing the air, fresh air. So fresh in this sentence is going to be a linking verb. Um, I smell the fragrant roses. That's the second one under number two. Um, smell is our action verb. Who are, Smell is our verb. Who or what smell I? I smell whom or what? Roses. So roses is not describing um, I. So in this sentence, smell is an action verb. Do you see how they're used differently? In the third one, the noise sounds strange. Sounds is on our sometimes linking verb. So let's talk about it. Noise, who or what, I mean sounds, who or what sounds noise. Noise sounds whom or what strange. So strange is the completer strange noise it's modifying our subject noise so that means that in this sentence sounds is a linking verb the cook sounded the dinner bell sound is on our sometimes linking verb sounded is our verb who or what sounded cook cook sounded whom or what bell is bell modifying your subject at all the bell cook no so that means that Sounds in this sentence will be an action verb. Donna looks happy now. Looks is our verb. Who or what looks Donna? Donna looks whom or what? Happy. 
that makes happy our completer, but is sound, is um, looks a linking verb or an action verb? Would it make sense to say happy Donna? Donna looks happy. It's describing how Donna looks, right? She looks happy. So that means looks in this sentence is a linking verb. Look at the sentence under it. I looked at magazines while I waited. Looked is our verb. Who or what looked? And I looked. I looked whom or what? There's not an, a, a direct object at all, so there's no complement at all because at magazines is a prepositional phrase and while I waited is a prepositional phrase. So in this sentence, waited is definitely an action verb. So you can go on and read the rest of those on your own, think about it, and just look at the complement after you say the subject, verb, and complement and decide if this is modifying the subject over here or renaming the subject, then this has got to be a linking verb. And that will help you determine whether you're dealing with a linking verb or an action verb. Okay, go ahead and turn to page 280. And on 280, we are going to go through and we're going to decide, do we have a linking verb in these sentences or an action verb? Okay, um, the hungry boy tasted the warm pie. I'm on think on page 280. Tasted is our verb. Who or what tasted? Boy. Boy tasted whom or what? Pie. Well, pie is not going back and renaming the boy or describing the boy, so tasted in this sentence is an AV action verb. The pie tasted good. Tasted is our verb. Who or what tasted? Pie. Pie tasted whom or what? Good. Does good go back and rename our pie or describe our pie? Yes, good pie. So in this sentence, tasted is a linking verb, LV on the line. Cinderella felt the soft velvet dress. Felt is our verb. Who or what felt? Cinderella. Cinderella felt whom or what? Dress. Does the completer dress modify Cinderella, describe Cinderella, or rename Cinderella? No. So we have an action verb in that sentence. It felt warm and smooth. Felt is our verb. Who or what felt? It. It felt whom or what? Warm and smooth. Is warm and smooth going back and describing it or renaming it? Absolutely. So that makes felt in that sentence a linking verb. Lilacs smell wonderful in the morning. Smell is our verb. Who or what smell? Lilacs. Lilacs smell whom or what? Wonderful. Is the word wonderful going back and describing our lilacs? Or is it renaming our lilacs? Yes, it is. So in this sentence, light or smell is a linking verb. Y'all getting catching on to it? Um, I could smell the lilacs through my window. Could smell is our verb. Who or what could smell? I. I could smell whom or what? Lilacs. Is the word lilacs going back and describing I? Or is it renaming I? No. So in this sentence, the word smell is an action verb. Number seven, I am looking for my lost puppy. Am looking is our verb. Who or what am looking? I. I am looking. Um, oh, wow. I am looking for whom or to whom. Some of you guys are going to want to say puppy but it cannot be puppy. Look at that sentence carefully and tell me why it cannot be puppy. Look at it, think about it, because puppy is the, direct, or is the object of the preposition for my lost puppy. See that? So this sentence does not have a direct object. Okay, or it doesn't have a completer at all. So am looking would be our action verb. Number eight, the teacher sounded the fire alarm. Sounded is our verb. Who or what sounded? Teacher. Teacher sounded whom or what? Alarm. Um, does alarm go back and rename the teacher? Or does it describe the teacher? No, so the word sounded in this sentence will be an action verb. Number nine, the song sounds funny. 
Sounds is our verb. Who or what sounds? Song. Song sounds whom or what? Funny. Funny is our complement or our completer. Does funny go back and describe the sound or the song? Or does it rename the song? Yes, it describes it, the funny song. So in this sentence, the word sounds will be a linking verb. Number 10, you look so sad. So in this sentence, look is our verb. Who or what look? You. You look whom or what? Sad. Does the word sad go back and describe our subject? Or does it rename our subject you? Yes, it's describing you. You're sad. So in this sentence, the word look is a linking verb. And you will complete this exercise on your live worksheet. Follow the directions carefully um, on that live worksheet, okay? All right, guys, have your thinkers on. If you have your thinkers on, you'll be able to, to think it through and make it happen. Guys, I'm going to say this. If you have your thinkers on and you've been watching our language videos for the last week because we have learned a lot of new information in the last week, if you haven't, then it is going to be very, very, very important and very, very necessary for you to go back and look at those language videos or you're going to be stumbling from here till the end because it's all new stuff pretty much for a while, okay? All right, good job.